Hi guys, so today I am going to be teaching you Matt Franco's card trick routine that he did on the America's Got Talent finals a couple years ago. And this card trick ultimately led him to win the show where he received $1 million and now has his own headline show in Las Vegas. But really quickly before you get into that, I currently am having a giveaway on my channel. And all you need to do in order to enter this giveaway is be subscribed to my channel, drop a like on this video and comment one time on one of my videos something you like about my channel. And I'm giving away three $10 Amazon gift cards and I will be announcing the winners, I promise, in a video sometime this week. So make sure you guys look out for that. Now let's get right into this tutorial for Matt Franco's card trick. And guys, one more thing, I am going to be uh, leaving the link in the description to Matt Franco's performance uh, when he performed this trick on America's Got Talent. So make sure you guys go check out that video as well. And now let's get right into this tutorial for the trick. So Matt Franco starts off this trick. He's going to talk to the uh, judges and stuff. He's just mixing up the cards because this um, is an, an impromptu trick. This is a variation of the ambitious card routine and has a really great effect on the spectator. So we started off by uh, having Howard Stern pick any card from the deck. It really does not matter. In this case, let's turn over the card. We have these six of hearts here. And as uh, Howard was signing the card and stuff, he was talking to him, what he was doing, he was turning over the top two cards from the deck here and then getting a pinky break under the two cards like this. So as after he did this, keep in mind he did this part really quickly and wasn't uh, you know caught on camera and stuff. So after Howard uh, was done signing the card, he's doing a wrist kill. So he accidentally you know, doesn't flash the, the cards that are face up. Then he puts a Howard signed card right on top of the deck like this as you know the, the he's done this risk kill here so he doesn't you know flash these cards so he pushes um, the card on top like this and then turns it over as one just like so so the uh, everyone that um, the judges think the card is on top but in reality you have a random card here what he does he opens about half the deck and then slides um, his selection into the middle but in reality this is a random card so he does this and then he shows everyone that the card is not on top, right? Because then it's a card right below it. So as he's kind of flashing this card here, what he's doing is he's getting a pinky break under the Howard selection. So the top card like this. And what he does here, he's gonna, he says, okay, the card's not on top. He puts this random card right back on top of uh, his selection. Then he does, he snaps his fingers, does a double lift and shows that the card had actually somehow jumped back to the top of the deck. So from here, he goes ahead and turns over the double packet, just like so. He has um, one of the judges open up about half the pack like this, and then he slides the card. Again, everyone thinks this is uh, the selection, but it's just a random card. Places it in the middle, does the same thing, snaps his fingers, and then he had judge go ahead and turn over the top card and shows that it somehow jumped back to the top of the deck. So from here, what he did, he's going to do another variation of kind of the card jumping back to the top. So as, as everyone was amazed, he goes ahead and uh, tr puts the selection right on top of the deck like this. From here, what he does is he uses his pinky to pull down the bottommost card of the deck like this, then transfer this, uh, this break to a thumb break in his other hand. So he just transfers the deck to his other hand, and has a thumb break like this under the bottommost card. From here, what he does, he swing cuts about half of the deck into his other hand. So right now, you're going to have the signed card on top of this pile right here. What he does is he uses his middle finger that's holding uh, you know, this packet right here. He slides it up the card, and as he's doing that, he's dropping this card that he has on the thumb break right on top of it like this. So when you're doing this in the and, uh, if you're performing this to someone, you don't, you're going to do a wrist kill at the exact same time, so you don't accidentally flash this card. So it should look like this. You have your thumb break. You're pushing up and out jogging uh, the selection and you're dropping the card on top of it, and then you're gonna do a wrist kill at the same time, so you don't you know, accidentally flash this card. So from here, you're gonna go ahead and one-handed fan the rest of the cards like this. You're gonna push uh, their selection in. So the select, everyone thinks now the selection is on top, but in reality, it's a random card. So from here, you're gonna go ahead and, he had uh, the judge push in the card like this, and they thought this was the selection, but in reality, it's a random card. From here, you can, he, uh, you're going to go ahead and open up about half the pack, place all these cards in, and then you can snap your fingers, do whatever you want, and then reveal that the card had jumped to the top. But it's kind of interesting in the actual performance, if you guys go ahead and watch the video, um, he proceeded to do the same thing, right? He swing cut about half the cards, pushed off their selection, did all this, but and he fanned it out, put the card in, but... In the performance, what he did was kind of a risky move. He, as he, you know, he was opening up this packet here. He really quickly brought their selection, the top card, to his mouth, and then closed the packet like this. And then, 
But in the performance, it might have been a little bit of a mess up that he did because the card in his mouth wasn't the sign selection. It was just, it was an ace of spades. So something might have gone wrong there. He played it off nice. I don't know if something did go wrong because if you guys, like I said, if you guys go watch the performance, the judges look quite confused at that part because it wasn't the sign selection that was in uh, Matt Frankel's mouth. It was just a, the ace of spades. And it sort of seemed like he messed up. It sort of seemed like he did it. I don't know for sure. Um, you guys are going to have to go watch the video yourselves and, you know, because it seemed like the judges were really confused at that part as it didn't really make sense why the selection wasn't in his mouth. But if you guys are doing that performance, you don't have to uh, bring the card to your mouth because that's a risky move. Just go ahead and, you know, uh, put the cards into the, put that fan into the middle of the pack and then show that the card had jumped to the top. So from here is the last part of the trick, the routine. So you have their card on top. Um, the judges, everyone's amazed, right? So what you're doing here is you're going to take the top card from the deck and just turn it over face up like this and then get a pinky break um, above the card. So keep if you're doing this to a group of people, you kind of do it to yourself like this, kind of casually just turn it over and then get a pinky break under it like this so the, uh, no one sees what you're doing. So then from here, he, uh, he did a risk kill. He's going to place their Howard selection on top of the uh, face up card like this. From here, he's just gonna go ahead and say that this time you can. It's gonna be easier for you to follow the card. So what he's doing here is he's bending both cards like this. But everyone thinks he's just bending the top card, which is their selection. So if you're doing this in a, uh, in a performance, you're gonna want to bend it quickly so you don't, you know, accidentally flash. Like if you're doing it slow, you don't might accidentally flash if there's two cards here. So you're gonna give it a little bit of a significant bend. Don't worry, it's not gonna ruin the card. Um, you can easily revert it back to um, an unbended card. So from here, he's gonna go ahead and turn over both cards. Everyone thinks this is one card. And he's going to open about half of the packet like this, slide off the top card, which they think is a selection, but in reality, it's a random card like this. So you're going to, she's going to show this bend and say, okay, go ahead and follow the bend in the card. Everyone thinks this is the selection, but in reality, it's on top like this. So this is the move. It's quite easy. This has a really powerful effect on the spectator. I'm going to try to give you guys a good camera angle here. So what you're going to do is you're going to apply pressure with your thumb and then your three fingers on the side of the deck. And then when you snap your fingers, do whatever you want, you're going to say, watch the, um, the card. You're going to snap your fingers, release the pressure, and it really makes it look like the card had, from in the middle of the deck, had jumped to the top. So one more time, this works a little bit better with a more, uh, you know, bent card because it has a greater, you know, like jump to it. So you see, hopefully this camera angle looks good. You guys are going to snap your fingers, release the pressure, and then it really makes it believe that the card... It somehow jumped to the top of the deck. So that was basically the whole routine that uh, Matt Franco did in the America's Got Talent performance a couple years ago. Um, like I said, I'm not sure the part where he put the card in his mouth. I don't know if that was a mess up or you know if that was just part of his act. It didn't really make sense, um, you know, throughout the, his uh, performance and routine. But that's basically it. This is a really good routine and card trick to do, like if you're doing a street performance, because this is, does not really require a table. It just can be done you know on the street it has a really powerful effect on the spectator and i would suggest before you guys go out and perform this to a spectator or a group of people i would practice the um ways you're going to misdirect your audience um when you need to turn cards at the top of the deck face up because that can be kind of challenging to do without any misdirection skills um, during your uh, act because they could easily see what you're doing and then ultimately figure out how you have done the trick because that can, that's the only part about this trick that can be a little bit challenging. You know, the parts of the trick where you need to turn over cards face up at the uh, top of the deck. So make sure you guys go practice that before um, you go ahead and perform this to a group of people. So that is going to conclude the tutorial for uh, Matt Franco's jumping card trick routine that he did on the finals of America's Got Talent. I hope it made sense for you guys. And this certainly was one of the tricks that led him to win the million, million dollar prize of America's Got Talent and have his own headline show in Las Vegas. So this is a really popular card trick. It's a really great effect on the uh, spectator. So that is going to conclude uh, this video. Once again, um, make sure you guys enter the giveaway. All you need to do in order to enter the giveaway is be subscribed to my channel, drop a like on this video, and comment one time on one of my videos something you like about my channel or an idea you would have to improve my channel. The winners will be announced in a video sometime during this week. I promise I'll get that video out soon. And also, I have some big videos coming up in, um, in the future here. I have a possible collaboration video with Card Shuffler 99 that's going to be happening sometime this week. Um, so make sure you guys look out for that video. And thanks again. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you are new to my channel, make sure you do hit that subscribe button for more uh, card trick videos like this one, AGT reveals, and giveaways. So that is going to do it. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.